In this question, column one is given with a list of possible set of parameters measured in some experiments, and in column two, we have been given some graphs. Let us first solve question A. A condition is given for a simple harmonic motion, that is, a simple pendulum. So, the potential energy for a simple harmonic motion is always directly proportional to the square of the displacement. Therefore, option P is the correct answer. Therefore, the correct answer for question A is P. Now, let us have a look at question B. Displacement as a function of time for a one-dimensional motion at zero or constant acceleration when the body is moving along the positive x direction. Let us first consider the acceleration as equal to zero. Therefore, the velocity of the object will be a constant. Hence, the displacement of the object will be equal to k t plus c, where k and c are constants. According to this equation, the displacement is directly proportional to time, and it is given that. The displacement is on the y-axis and the time is on the x-axis. Therefore, the graph Q satisfies the question B. Now, considering the case when acceleration is constant, therefore the velocity of the object will be directly proportional to time. Hence, the displacement of the object will be proportional to the square of time. According to this equation, the graph at option S. Seems to satisfy the question B. Therefore, the correct answer for question B is option Q and option S. In question C, we have to find out the range of a projectile as a function of its velocity when it is projected at a fixed angle. We know that the range of a projectile is given by r is equal to U square sine two theta upon g, where u is the initial velocity. According to this equation, it's very clear that the range of the projectile is directly proportional to the square of the velocity when it is projected at a fixed angle. Therefore, option S seems to be the correct answer, but option P cannot satisfy this equation as the range cannot decrease with an increasing velocity. Therefore, the correct answer for question C is option S. We know that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by t is equal to two pi under root l by g, where l is the length of the pendulum. So, t square is equal to four pi square into l by g. According to this equation, it is very clear that the square of the time period is directly proportional to the length of the pendulum. Hence, option Q seems to be the correct answer. Therefore, the graph will be linear and will pass through the origin. Hence, option Q seems to satisfy this condition. Therefore, the correct answer for question D is option Q.